I'm going to use part of my time to just give you a simple demonstration of what I, what I teach young kids. When you're walking down the street, you get a call and the police get a call. If the police stop you in an area, I'm going to give you a Saturday night, whatever area you're at, and the police stop you. Do you know why they're stopping you? They're stopping you because you're the only one in that vicinity. So right then and there, you are the perpetrator. You don't know you're the perpetrator because they're not going to tell you the, you're the perpetrator. What they try to do is stop you by engaging you. How you doing, sir? Or whatever. Sir, did you see a car? Did you hear a gunshot? Did you see somebody run? And what you think is you think because you're not the perpetrator, right? You tend to think, well, let me help them out or let me defend myself. You don't have to defend yourself. The burden of proof is on them. Keep your damn mouth shut. This is what I tell the young folks. That if that was to happen to you as you're walking, you say, officer, am I under arrest? No, you're not under, well then I must be free to leave. And then you start to leave. Let him or her say, no, you can't leave. Well then officer, am I under arrest? No, you're not, well then I must be free to leave. Well, no, I want to ask you something. Well, officer, Am I under arrest? You keep saying that because let me tell you something. If the police had the right to arrest you, they do they ever ask you? No. They do it. So I tell, I teach, you just say that. When the officer says, well, listen, you're not under arrest. I just want to know, did you see a car? Did you hear a person scream? Did you hear gunshots? You don't, officer, am I under arrest? And if they say, well, you know what, you're smart because you know what comes behind that. Right? Okay, officer, you're under arrest. Okay, officer, you turn around and you put your hands behind you and say, here, take me. Here. But you don't say nothing. Say, nine times out of ten, they're going to push you away. Because they're going to say, you know, if they don't have enough, they're going to say, I can't lock this person up. But what you just did is you showed them you're not afraid to get arrested. The other way you handle that situation is you do this. A cop stops you. Excuse me, you live around here, this is what you do, and you look him or her straight in the eye, and you just do this. Excuse me, did you hear what I said? Do you live around here? Can you tell me your name? It's easy, just don't say nothing. Now they got a decision to make. Either lock you up, beat you up, or let you go. Now, there's going to be some derogatory statements coming behind that. But you know what? I guarantee you that 99% of the time, at the end of that confrontation, you'll be walking like this in a way and on your way. That's what you do. Stop trying to prove to them that you're not the person they're looking for. That's up to them to do. Another thing, know your rights. In this book, it's only about 28 pages. I give you what you should do when you're stopped by the police, what you should do if the police come knocking at your door, what you should do if the police stop you at your car, in your car, what the passengers should do, what to do if you're brought to a police precinct because some people don't know, what's, you, you know what to expect. What to do after you've been violated by the police, how to fight them back, and get in touch with our organizations, because we will come out and we will help you. I can't go down to CCRB anymore. They don't want me down there. Because when I've escorted people down there, they say, you can't come in. You know why? Because when I went down there with some, some people that was complaining, they play semantics with a person's words. And I'm sitting there and I said, listen, if this lady said the officer slapped her, then the officer slapped her. You don't have to say to her, well, did the officer inadvertently put his hand up? What are you talking? She know, she's a grown woman. She knows if she's been slapped, just like grown men. They know if they've been hit or violated. You know, stop making excuses for the police. Well, they told me you can't come down here anymore. You know, it's all right. 
It's okay because if I can educate enough and you can stand and use that backbone in your spine and, and stand up for what's right, you'll be okay because when you leave there, you got us. You got us and, and you're going to have your community behind you if they just would stop being scared. We as a people need to stop being afraid. 